Hello everyone, Bentley Kay here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a Hot Flesh and Wrinkles makeup video and we will be testing. This is new from Revolution, I think. I'm pretty sure it's new. I don't know why else I would have gotten it. Anyways, it's called Super Serum and I got it at Walmart. I don't remember how much it was, but it's gonna be, you know, reasonable, I hope. <laughs> anyway, um, it is a serum foundation, and as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I do not really care for serum foundations very often. However, I've been using this Fenty Beauty one. I think it's a serum, Ease Drop Blurring Tint, Skin Tint. It's a skin tint, so I don't know if that, that means it's a serum. Anyways, I normally do not like serums. They do strange things to my skin. But we're gonna try it anyways because it's it's from Revolution and it's gonna be cheap, right? So anyways, that's what we're doing. We're testing this out. I also have a jumbo eyeshadow stick from NYX and it's so pretty. Look at this color, it's called Blueberry Muffin. I don't know why, because it's pretty pinky purple to me. But look at that. Is that gorgeous? I can't wait. It's so sparkly and stuff. It's pretty. So we're going to try it. So let's get started. I've already put on my primer, which is the YSL Touche Clot Blurring. Touche Clot? Is it Touche Clot? Yes, Blur Primer from YSL. I had just recently got back from California again. My daughter is starting a business out there. It's a catering business. Her boyfriend um, just opened a restaurant and he used to do street tacos just all over the place. And so she has taken over that and turned it into a catering business and he is running the restaurant and it's called Talk About Good. It's in Upland, California, so if you're in the area, definitely go in and try it. Everybody loves it. But anyways, I was out there helping her get that started and I am going to be making the t-shirts for the employees and then I think we're going to sell some hoodies and some t-shirts. In the, in the restaurant. I'm not going to open an Etsy store or anything, at least not that I know of. I am going to grab a foundation brush and spread this out. You know what? I was going to put cream contour and blush underneath, but <laughs> I'm not now. We're going to use powder. What do you think? I forgot to tell you what color it was, but it looks a little pink for me and maybe a little light, but we'll make it work, right? We always make it work. It looks good from far away. Let's see, up close it's pretty shiny, but I'm sure when I go in with my sponge, which I'm gonna do here in just a sec, maybe I just got too much. It definitely seems like like it's not sinking in and you would think a serum would. All right, it's spread out enough because it isn't getting it with that brush. We're going to go in with my sponge now. Just get rid of the shine, push it into the skin. I think the color is pretty good. Maybe a little bit light, but we're going to put bronzer and stuff on it, so it'll be fine. Well, it covers really good. I don't know. It seems like it's going to start sinking in. Just because it's not soaking into the skin it seems like it's gonna sink into my wrinkles gather in my wrinkles is what i'm trying to say 
I have like three little spots right here that came up after I used that Smashbox foundation. I can't remember what it's called. I don't know that that's what did it because I'm waiting till they're completely gone and then I'm going to try it again and if I get them then I'll know. But it's taking forever for them to go away because they weren't really pimples. They were just like, I don't know, they were weird. That's why I'm not sure if it was that foundation or just the fact that I'm flying back and forth all the time these days. Anyway, I'll let you know if I decide it was that foundation because I liked that foundation. It had great coverage and it stayed really nice. It looked really good. But if it did that, it ain't good. Okay, we're gonna go in with our concealer so that we can go ahead and powder this down before it. We're gonna use the Derma Blend. I don't know what's going on here, but it's like my concealer is like disappearing. And I'm thinking it's got something to do with this foundation since this is like my favorite concealer in the world I guess it's still there kind of I don't like that I need my concealer I don't know we'll see I'll keep going anyways we're gonna go in with our powder so that we can set it all and then see how it looks because I'm afraid it's going to look dry right here. That's what it looks like it's going to look. We're going to try. I'm going to go in, press out my foundation, I mean my concealer again real quick. And then make sure the foundation isn't settling and powder. I'm going to try and keep it low and not really put any powder up here because that's where it looks like it's going to get dry. And then I'm just going to take my powder brush and spread this around like this. All this down here. And then just take a quick swipe up there just to set that without hopefully making it dry. We're going to use this, we're going to stick with drugstore kind of. Um, this is the L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It in Dark, I think. Yes. We're going to use that for our bronzer. And our contour. Because see, I have to put powder up here with this too, so I'm glad I didn't put too much of the other powder. And that was the Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics that I used for my powder. Go in with some blush. We'll do our Dallas. Just a little bit of Dallas. And our highlight, of course, is going to be our Fenty Diamond Balm. I think that's what it is. Because we love it. All right. I'm going to throw a little bit up here because I already put it on my finger. Call that done. And then we are going to go into our eyeshadow. And basically all I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to draw some and then take a brush and spread it out. Because it's so incredibly pretty. And I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit and then pull it up and blend it. 
Let's see. Let's go in with some liner. Okay, guys, I'm back. I put liner on. It takes me a while. I haven't used it in a long time, so I did it off camera. I used this Maybelline uh, Master Precise All Day 24 Hour Wear from Walmart also um, for my liner. It's a liquid liner with a felt tip. It was pretty good. I had used it once before and I did not think I liked it, but it seemed like it did fine today. Better than some of my high-end ones because it dried pretty fast so it didn't spread into the wrinkles. So I may decide that I really do like this one. Um, I did my brows. Also takes me a while. I used the Precisely Brow Precisely Brow Pencil. Precisely my brow pencil. And this is in the lightest color, uh, number three. I don't know if that's the lightest color. It's number three though. And I'm I like it. The only thing I don't like about these is you never know when they're gonna run out. So basically what I usually do, I bought this in California because I forgot my brow brush. I took my pomade, but I didn't take my brush. So I couldn't find a brush I liked and didn't need one. So I decided to try this again because it was quick and easy and I'm really liking it. But like I said, it runs, you, it's a pencil, you know, a turn up pencil. So you should really buy two at a time so that when the first one runs out, you can buy another one and you'll never run out because you always have that backup ready. But it was like $24 too. So I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know if it's cost effective, but I like it for now. And since I already have it, um, as far as, oh, I shouldn't, we haven't done our lips yet. And I have the perfect lipstick for this eyeshadow. This is Wet n Wild 527B and it says, Fuchsia with blue pearl or something like that. Anyways, that's what we're going to use. Because I think it matches really well. Actually, I, I think it's a little pinker than the eyeshadow. But that's because it's Blueberry Muffin eyeshadow. Anyway, this is our look of the day. I'm not sure I really like that lipstick with it. But it is what it is, right? So, this does not even go on here. Oh, there we go. What do you think? What do you think about the foundation? The foundation covered pretty good. I think it... I think it looks pretty good. It's not really sinking in that I can tell. So if you're looking for a serum foundation, that has got hyaluronic acid and something else in it, I think. Okay. So it is the super serum from revolution hyaluronic acid foundation. So really that's the only part of the serum that I can tell because my goodness, look how small that writing is. I can't read that even with my glasses on, but it starts with aqua water. So it's mostly water, but I think I'm going to take this lipstick off. I think I would like it better with, even though that kind of matched now that they're got enough pink on them. I think it would look better with just this. Some shine. Better? Yeah, I think the pink was too much, not exact. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm going to give the foundation a thumbs up because it's not sinking into lines. It did cover well, and I know it was very reasonable. Uh, it was probably not going to be my favorite just because it's a serum and I don't really like serums, but it looks good. 
My favorite right now has been the Fenty. Only thing is, I think I need to take it back and get a different shade because this one's just a little bit too orange for my skin. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah!